So good morning, good afternoon, good evening friends. In this video, we are going to discuss on one of the very hot topic that is desktop support interview questions and answers which are into English language. Okay. So I have already given the desktop support interview questions answers in Hindi language. If you want to see that video, you can uh, see the description. I have given the link of that video in the description. If you want all desktop support interview questions, PDF, free of cost, then you require to subscribe my channel, click on bell icon and mail me on complexsql at gmail.com which you can see into the screen. Okay. I will give you all the interview questions in PDF format free of cost. So don't hesitate to mail me. Okay. So, so let's start with first question. What is DHCP and how does it work? So you require to know as a desktop support engineer what exactly the DHCP is. This is 100% asked desktop support interview question. Okay. So DHCP stands for Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol which assigns the IP addresses dynamically to the devices in the network. Okay. Which assigns IP addresses dynamically to the devices in the network. It eliminates the need of manually configure each device. So these are two main tasks of DHCP. Okay. I have given one example. In an office, when you connect to your laptop to network, DHCP automatically assigns it an IP address and allowing you to access resources like printers, shared files. So if you require to access the resources like printer, shared files, then DHCP protocol is very very important and as a desktop support engineer you should know what exactly the DHCP is okay next question explain the difference between a hub switch and router what is hub hub connects the devices in the network connecting devices in the network you require to use hub switch switch filters and forwards the data switch is not the device which is used to connect the devices in the network it filters and forwards the data and router connects to different networks okay so router is used to connect to different networks hub is for devices switch is to filter and forward the data and router is to connect with different uh, connect with different networks okay example for the same imagine an office with computers like switch, phones or hubs and routers connecting the office network to the internet. Okay. Next is what is DNS? This is also most important, most asked interview question for desktop support. Okay. So what is DNS? DNS stands for domain name system, which translates the domain names into IP addresses. Enabling the user to access websites using names instead of numeric IP address. Okay, so it is domain name system. So before uh, when uh, the internet has just started, we don't have the domain name system. We require to hit the IP to access the data from that server. Okay, so then domain name system uh, domain name system comes into the picture so that you can identify that specified website. Let's say www.complexsql.com is one of the website. Okay. So it has deployed to one of the IP address. But you are identifying that website is related to SQL. Right. Just like that domain name system is very very important uh, to identify the multiple websites. When you type www.example.com in your browser DNS translate it into corresponding IP address to locate the website. Got it? Simple. Next is how do you troubleshoot a computer that cannot connect to the internet? So this is also commonly asked interview question. So in that you require to check the physical connection that is first step. Second step is to restart the router. Third step is to verify the IP settings. Okay use the tool like ping you can also ping or trace route to diagnose the network related issues 
if you are not getting response for that pin then it is the direct connectivity issue okay a user reports example for the same a user reports no internet access i check cables restart router and use the ping to identify if issue is with local network or the internet connection so these are steps you require to take care of when you are working as desktop support engineer next question explain the purpose of active directory what is ad this is also commonly asked interview question okay active directory is a directory service that manages and organizes network resources okay active directory is one of the service which which manages as well as organizes network resources it authenticates and authorizes users and computers in a window domain windows domain okay example for the same in large company active directory stores user accounts manages permissions and ensures secure access to the shared resources in big companies you are having more shared resources right so we have uh, they have there should be creation of active directory which stores user accounts manage permissions okay what steps do you have do you take when computer is slow so this is also commonly asked 100% interview question okay so when your computer is slow or when your colleagues or if that issue has been raised then you require to check for malware if any malware has affected to that computer then clear the temporary files then third step optimize startup programs and ensure that there is enough disk space free okay so nowadays we are using cloud so we require to check the cloud access is there to uh, uh, is uh, is there and cloud machine is running properly or not that you require to check okay a user complains about slow computer i run the antivirus scans clear unnecessary files and disable the non essential startup programs next question how do you handle a forgotten password issue this is also commonly asked interview question so as a desktop support engineer you require to verify user identity first then reset the password and communicate the new credentials securely with the user okay you don't require to chat with the user or if you don't require to call the user and tell that you can give that credential securely through the mail okay example for the same a user forgets their password i confirm their identity through security questions reset the password and provide the new credentials in person and through a secure channel or a through a secure channel this is the example i have given each and every example so that you can understand that concept easily clearly and you if you get that question in the interview you can answer that easily okay next question eighth question explain the concept of firewall what exactly the firewall is firewall is a security device that monitors and controls incoming and outgoing network traffic based on predetermined security rules okay in firewall there are predetermined security rules so that only few computers can access to through that network which are secure okay example for the same is an organization a firewall prevents unauthorized access to the internal network and protect against cyber security threats got it next question ninth question how do you approach a computer with blue screen error or you can say blue screen of death error you might have faced that 100% right so the answer for the same is you require to check the recently installed hardware or software boot into the safe mode and analyze the error messages okay that three things only you can do if that three things is not resolving your issue you require to contact the hardware team okay example for the same a user encounters a blue screen of death issue i review the recent changes boot into the safe mode 
and analyze the error codes to identify the cause. Got it? Next interview question is what is purpose of an IP address? Why IP address is required? This is also commonly asked interview question. An IP address is unique identifier assigned to each device on the network. It is a unique identifier. That word you require to remember, unique identifier assigned to each device. It enables the communication between the devices. To communicate between, uh, to enable the communication between the devices, IP address plays a good role. Got it? Example for the same, when you see, send an email, your device IP address is used to route the message to the recipient device. So this is simple example I have given. Next is explain the importance of regular software update, updates. So uh, you might have seen that you are getting the updates on your windows regularly. So what is the importance of it? Why they are giving a lot of software updates? Okay. Answer for the same is regular software updates, patch security vulnerabilities, fix bugs and enhance software performance. These are three key goal for software update. What is first? Security vulnerabilities issues, fixing, fixing bugs and enhance software performance. Example for the same, not updating operating system or antivirus software exposes the computers to potential security threats. Regular updates ensures protection against the latest risks. Okay. Next interview question, 12th interview question is how do you handle a situation where user accidentally deletes the important files? So, how do you handle that situation when uh, user accidentally deletes the important files? So, as a desktop support engineer, you require to attempt a file recovery using backup solutions or file history tools. There are a lot of file history tools which are available in the market, which desktop support engineer have the access. So you require to use that. Educate user on importance of regular backups. Okay. A user deletes, example for the same, a user deletes critical document. I check for backups, restore the file if available and advise the user on setting up automatic backup in the future. Got it? Next is what is RAID, R-A-I-D. And why it is used? This is also 100% asked interview question for desktop support engineers. RAID stands for redundant array of independent disk, which is used to combine multiple hard drives for performance, reliability, or both. Simple, simple definition. Okay. Example for the same in a server, RAID might be you configured to ensure data integrity and prevent a loss in case of a single hard drive failure. Right. Next interview question, 14th interview question, how do you handle a printer that is not responding? This is also commonly asked interview question, commonly asked scenario. Right. Check the physical connection, that is first step. Second step, restart the printer. Third step, verify print queue. And if that is not happening, then first step you require to reinstall the drivers if necessary. Print drivers you require to you require to reinstall the pr print drivers. Got it? A user reports a printer issue. I inspect the cables, restart the printer, clear print jobs, and reinstall the drivers if, if problem persists. Last interview question is explain the concept of VPN. Today is in word of COVID, you are using VPN a lot, right? So VPN creates a secure encrypted connection over the internet, allowing user to access the private network from a remote location. From remote location, if you require to access some private network within the company's uh, infrastructure, you can access it via VPN, virtual private network. Got it? Example for the same, in a business setting, employee use a VPN to securely connect with company's internal network 
while working from the home or while traveling got it so these 15 interview questions are most important most asked interview questions i have discussed this interview questions with many desktop support engineers and come up with this questionnaire hope you like this video if you want pdf for this video or desktop support engineer free of cost then please subscribe the channel click on bell icon and send me mail on complexsql at gmail.com i'll give you all interview questions free of cost this is pdf for the interview questions hope you like this video if you like this video kindly subscribe the channel click on bell icon cheers